Control, report. All suctions 82 and 85 are taking in water. Generators 3 and 4 temporarily disabled. Oh, put repair crews on it on a double. Report back when the damage is under control. Aye, sir. What in blazes was that? Uh, I don't know. Amrak doesn't give us any answers either. Chief, anything on what caused that? Afraid not. The radiation count is up a bit, but nothing to worry about. Mm. There's nothing here either, sir. No indication of previous seismic disturbances. It doesn't look like an underwater earthquake. Well, in other words, uh, all indications are that nothing happened. But we all know that something did. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't I take out the flying sub and scout up ahead? We might be able to see what's going on. Well, might as well have a crack at it. I'm not very happy about unexplained explosions knocking us about. to regain power and repair the damage. Approximately two hours, sir. All right, give us all the emergency power you've got. And hop to in the repairs. Yeah, check our situation. We're on a jagged bed of rocks. One third of the bow section is clear of the bottom. Mm. Let us see if we can find out, Lee. Chief, prepare the flying south for immediate launch. Aye, sir. Come on, Steve. Right. I'm not sure I know what we're looking for. Neither am I. Have any idea what could have caused those shocks? Anansky. All I know is that it felt like some kind of a pressure impact. That's right, like depth charges going off. There's only one thing wrong with that theory. Yeah, I know. There's nobody around here dropping ash cans on us. Same impact, only some distance off. Getting a reading on solar? Yes, sir. 20 degrees to starboard. What tracking fix do you have for the flying sub? Uh, approximately the same, sir. Bearing 105. See to the flying sub. See you to flying sub. Come in, over. Flying sub, are we getting through to you? This is the flying sub. We read you. What happened? We've been hit. 